OK, so this video is going to show you something you probably didn't know about your Fire Stick and it may well save it from having to be binned one day. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this video is going to show you something you probably didn't know about your Fire Stick and it could save it from having to be binned one day because by not following these instructions, then you could end up corrupting or damaging permanently your Fire Stick or even your Fire TV Cube too. This could apply to that too. So what is it? Well, it's basically to telling you about how to properly shut down your Fire Stick. Now, at the end of the day, we turn our TVs off and the Fire Stick will go to sleep if it's not touched within a few minutes. But some people do go a step further and they do unplug it from the mains, which is good. That's fine. But there is a method, first of all, to follow before you unplug it from the mains, which could stop the Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube from corrupting. Now, if you think most things in life have a proper shutdown procedure, when you park your car, you don't just switch the engine off. You take it out of gear or put it into park and pull the handbrake up. When you turn the computer off, you don't just simply pull it out from the wall socket, do you? Well, these Fire Sticks and Fire TV Cubes are pretty much like computers. And if you don't follow the correct shutdown procedure, it could be that when you unplug it from the mains or switch it off, it could be in the middle of doing something like an update or something could be shutting down or opening up. And whatever is happening in the background in the system when you turn it off, it could end up corrupting it. And when you turn it back on, you could get the dreaded Fire TV logo that just stays on the screen. Now, I've had Fire Sticks and Cubes for many, many years, and I've so far touch wood, I've been very lucky. I've never had one crash like other people have or freeze. So and I'm sure this is down to the fact that I shut the Fire Stick down properly, just like I do my computer. So on the Fire Stick, there is no actual shutdown button, but what we can do is we can grab our remote control and then just push and hold the home button on it until this menu appears. Then go across to sleep, press the middle button, and then once the fire stick has gone to sleep, give it about five seconds and then we can unplug it from the mains. Either from there or if we want to, we can unplug it from here just like so. And then when we plug it back in again, hopefully the fire stick should come back on and it should boot up absolutely fine. Now, the reason I said earlier to give it five seconds before you unplug it from the main. So because the screen goes off pretty quick, it might just be doing a few little extra sort of tidy up bits in the background. So just give it five seconds, just like you would a laptop really when you close the lid down perhaps and you give it a few seconds to wait for the, the fans to spin down, all the lights to go off before you actually unplug it from the mains. As I say, these fire sticks and cubes are computers in themselves. They've got a system, an operating system in the background. And if the power is cut to them at a time when they're doing something in the background, then the system can get corrupted. So there you go. I would say it's worth perhaps doing this about once a week because this also gives your fire stick or cube a bit of a clean up, a bit of a reboot. Or if you don't want to do that and you want to leave it plugged in all the time, then the other thing to do is just to give it a bit of a clean up is just to go across to the settings cog, middle button, and then go down to my fire TV, middle button, and then go down to restart middle button and then go across to that restart there middle button and do that you know once a week don't do it any more regular than that it really doesn't need it just once a week will be fine so there you go i hope you like this video and if you did then please 
hit that thanks button if it's helped you. And also have a look in the description down below. If you're considering buying a new Fire Stick or Fire Stick accessories, or even subscribing to a VPN, please consider using the links down below as they really do help support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And don't forget, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not have a look around? I've got thousands of other videos right here, right now for you covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.